Welcome back dear students. So today we are going to start a new chapter and the name of the chapter is application of derivatives. Sometimes it is also known as AOD in short form. Okay. Now in your syllabus there are several applications of derivatives and from them I am taking tangents and normal to be the first application. Okay. Right. So for understanding tangents and normal, let's see some prerequisites. Okay, so we are going to understand some basic things about tangents and normal. So before that, first and foremost, let me draw a random curve for you. So let's say this is my random curve. Okay, now at this point, let's say at this point, you want to draw a tangent. So how do you draw a tangent? You just draw a straight line just like this, just touching the point. Yes or no? This diagram is not exact. But you can just assume that this line, this red line, just touches the point without intersecting the curve. So this becomes your tangent. Okay, so this becomes your tangent. Now my question is, um, what if I draw a normal uh, out here? Okay, so a normal means a perpendicular line. Okay, so this is my perpendicular line. So this is called your normal. Now. If you observe here, this red line, that's tangent and normal, they are straight lines, isn't it? Yes. So that's why here, what we need to understand or learn is, or what we are expected to know is, equation of a straight line. Okay. So we need to understand what is equation of a straight line. Now from class 11, you have got various forms of equation of line. Now out of them, which one? Which one you should know? So you should know something called point slope form. Now what is point slope form? Now point slope form is somewhat like this. Let's say there's a straight line, okay, whose slope is m and let's say that this line passes through the point x1, y1, okay then the equation of such kind of line is given by y minus y1 is equals to m into ax minus x1 so this is called your point slope form okay so you should know about this line or this equation now next thing is condition for two lines to be lines to be so number one parallel okay so let's say that there are two lines okay so there are two lines we can call the lines to be uh, l1 and the other line is l2 so we are finding condition for the these two lines to be parallel okay let's say its slope is m1 and let's say its slope is m2 okay now all of you must be remembering from your class 11 that l1 and l2 will be parallel if m1 is equals to m2 okay so if m1 is equals to m2 then l1 and l2 they will be parallel to each other so this is the condition this is the condition for two lines to be parallel right okay now another condition is condition for two lines to be perpendicular okay so this is another thing that we need to know now let's say there are two lines so let's say that this is my line l1 with slope m1 okay and let's say that this is my another line l2 with slope m2 okay now if they have to be perpendicular if m l1 and l2 have to be perpendicular then the product of m1 and m2 okay the product of m1 and m2 must be equals to minus 1 okay if this happens then we say that if this happens then we say that the lines are perpendicular to each other okay so this is another thing that you need to know okay now another one more thing that you need to know is about general equation of a line general equation of a line now and this is called point slope form as i said okay so this is called point slope form now what we need to know is general equation of a line 
Now all of you must be knowing that general equation of a line looks somewhat like this ax plus by plus c equals to 0. Now my question is if this kind of line is given to you then what will be its slope? What will be the slope? Slope will be remember it will be minus a by b. So this gives you the slope of this particular line. So these are the things that you need to know before we do the sums. Okay right. So if you don't know about this thing you may pause the video and quickly make a note of it okay let's move to the next topic so next topic that we are going to learn here is equation of a tangent and normal and normal to a curve okay now let's see that there's a curve uh, let's say that this is my curve y equals to fx. So this is my curve. Okay. And at the point, let's say this point, I want to find the tangent. Okay. So let me call this point to be point x1, y1. Okay. Now at this point, I want to, you know, uh, draw a tangent. So let me draw a rough tangent out here. So this is my rough tangent. Okay. Now, if you want to find the equation of this red line that is tangent, you know, you must know what is the slope and the point through which the line is passing. Now, I know one thing that this line passes through this point. This is point x1, y1. Remember. Okay. Now, I must, if I know what is the slope of this tangent, then I am done, isn't it? Okay, then I'm done because if I find the slope of this tangent, then we use this formula in order to find the equation of tangent. Okay, right. Now, all of you know about the geometrical interpretation of derivatives, isn't it? Now, all of you know if a function is given y equals to fx, then slope will be given by, okay, so slope of the tangent of the tangent is given by what slope of the tangent is given by its derivative isn't it that is dy by dx now now the question is at which point you are finding the derivative you're finding the derivative at point x1 y1 so that's why the derivative dy by dx at point x1 y1 gives you the slope of the tangent Okay, so therefore, equation of the tangent will be, okay, equation of the tangent will be y minus y1 is equals to m, that is the slope. Slope is given by this one, isn't it? That is dy by dx at x1, y1 gives you the slope m. So, we have into x minus x1. So this is the, remember, this is the equation of what? Equation of tangent to any curve y equals to fx. All right. Now we'll try to find what is the equation of the normal. So let me draw a rough normal for you. So this is my rough normal at this point. Okay. At this point, x1, y1. Again, to find the equation of this line, this normal, I know one thing that is the point through which this normal passing through. So this normal is passing through the point x1, y1, right? It's clearly visible. Now, if I find what is the slope of this normal, then I'm done. Let's say the slope is m. Okay. Now, if the slope is m, now I know tangent and this tangent and normal, they are perpendicular to each other yes or no so we can say that we have m that is slope of the normal into slope of the tangent which is dy by dx at x1 y1 this is remember slope of the tangent now product of the slopes must be equal to how much it should be equal to minus 1 remember so that's why see my aim is to find what is the 
slope of the normal which is m so that's why the slope of the normal is given by minus 1 okay so this entire thing goes to the denominator that is dy by dx at x1 y1 so this particular quantity you know this quantity gives you the slope of the normal now we know what is the slope of the normal and we know the point through which the normal passes which is x1 y1 so that's why we say that equation of the normal is now equation of the normal is given by y minus y1 is equals to m that is the slope but we know slope is minus 1 by dy by dx at x1 y1 into x minus x1 okay so this see here carefully so y minus y1 equals to m into x minus x1 using point slope form i found the equation of normal as well okay so this gives you the equation of normal to any curve y equals to fx okay so you may pause the video and make a note of it right so having understood let's see a few questions from your exercise so i'm taking directly question number 14 which says find the equations of tangent and normal to each of the following curves at the given points okay so let me start with question number two okay so in question number two question number two given is given is y equals to x to the power four minus six x cube plus 13 x square minus 10 x plus five so this is the given curve now remember if you want to find the equation of tangent or normal what you need to find is see we need to find dy by dx at the specified points okay so differentiating differentiating both sides with respect to x okay so we get dy by dx is equals to now derivative of x to the power 4 will be 4 x cube minus 6 is a constant so derivative of uh, you know uh, x cube will be 3x square plus we have 13 into derivative of x square will be 2x minus derivative of okay so 10 will be a constant so derivative of x is 1 so 2 into 1 plus derivative of 5 is 0 because it is a constant so this is my dy by dx okay so let's uh, simplify this 4x cube minus 18x square plus 26x minus 10 so this is your dy by dx but we need to find dy by dx at the specified point isn't it so we have dy by dx at the specified point now the specified point is 1 comma 3 okay that means the value of x is 1 and the value of y is 3 okay so let me substitute the value of x by 1 so you have 4x cube that is 4 into 1 cube minus 18 into 1 square plus 26 into x is 1 minus 10 so basically we don't have here y so we'll just substitute the value of x okay right so i don't have space here so let me do it here okay so this is equal to so 4 into 1 cube is 4 minus 18 this plus 26 minus 10 so let me add the positive ones so 4 plus 26 is 30 minus 18 and minus 10 will be equals to minus 28 so my slope turns out to be 2 okay right so i got my dy by dx okay so let's find the equation of normal then first let's find equation of tangent so therefore equation of tangent is y minus y1 this is my y1 remember so y minus y1 is equals to slope slope is 2 isn't it 2 into x minus x1 x1 is 1 isn't it so if you want to simplify this that can be done so we have uh, you know uh, 2x minus 2 equals to y minus 3 bring this y out here you get 2x minus y so better bring this also here so you get plus 
1. 3 minus 2 is plus 1 is equal to 0. So this is the equation of the tangent. Right? So you may pause the video and note down till here. Uh, I'm going to erase this part. Okay? So I, after erasing this, I will find equation of normal. Right? So let me erase this. Okay, so we need to find now the equation of normal, isn't it? So, therefore, equation of normal is, equation of normal is, so let's find what is the equation of normal. So, we have equation of normal is given by y minus y1, y1 is 3, this equals to minus 1 by dy by dx, that is the slope. Isn't it? Formula says for normal, it has to be minus 1 by slope, right? So, slope is equal to exactly 2 into x minus x1. x1 is 1. Okay. Now, let's do the cross multiplication. So, this comes here. So, 2y minus 3 into 2 is 6. So, minus 1 into x is minus x. Minus into minus is plus. 1 into 1 is 1. So, bring everything out here. So, you get x plus 2y okay so this comes here minus one so minus one and minus six gives you minus seven is equal to zero so this is the equation of remember this is the equation of normal okay so pause the video and note down your solution All right, now let's look at uh, this particular question. I will take question number four for you. Okay, so given is given is y equals to x square. Okay, and the specified point is zero comma zero. Remember. Okay, so differentiating both sides with respect to x. So you get dy by dx is equals to it's very simple. Uh, you get 2x out here. Okay. Now, uh, this is dy by dx. Remember, this is not the slope. Now, slope is found at the specified point, isn't it? So, therefore, dy by dx at the specified point is 0, 0. The value of x is 0. Y is also 0. So, in place of x, we will write 0. Okay. So, 2 into 0 is 0. So, this is the slope. Now, the work is easy, okay? So, therefore, uh, equation of tangent is, right, so all of you know, equation of tangent is given by y minus y1, y1 is 0, is equals to slope, dy by dx. For tangent, you have to write dy by dx. Slope is 0 into x minus x1, x1 is also 0. Okay, so calculate this. This will turn out to be y equals to 0. Now, basically, what is y equals to 0? y equals to 0 is nothing but x-axis. Okay, this is the equation of x-axis. Okay, which is the x-axis. Okay, so this is also the thing that you have learned in your class 11. Equation of x-axis is given by y equals to 0. So, this is my equation of tangent. Now, let's find equation of normal. So, therefore, the equation of the normal is y minus y1 is equals to minus 1 by dy by dx. Now, dy by dx is how much? 0, isn't it? So, we have x minus 0. Now, all of you know 1 by 0 is infinity, isn't it? Now, how, how to deal with such kind of stuff? You have to do the cross multiplication. You cannot write 1 by 0 equals to infinity and work. Okay. So, bring this 0 out here. So, you get 0 into y minus 0 is equals to minus 1 into x minus 0. So, this entire thing is 0. When you multiply anything with 0, you get 0. This is equals to minus x. Simple. Right. So, from here, can I say that this is x equals to 0? Yes. Now, this is the equation of normal, right? And x equals to 0 is nothing but the equation of y-axis, okay? Which is the y-axis, 
okay so this is the thing that you need to remember okay so you may pause the video and note down your solution thank you very much